What's going on guys? How are you doing today? Hopefully you are having a phenomenal day. Welcome into today's episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Gen Lock. The final recorded episode of this thing and I I can't believe this is the final episode that's recorded. Obviously, don't forget, the live finale is Friday, August 28th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Hope to see you all there. Um, yeah, no, it's going to be insane. Let's go ahead and do a team recap. We have, unfortunately, a team change that we had to execute. Um, so, spoilers ahead, just warning you. Also, make sure to smash that like button. It does help out the channel really, really a ton. A lot of people have been watching but not tapping that button. So, that, like I said, does help significantly. We got Joey with low sleep, secret power, darkest larian, and storm throw. We got Cassandra with Dragon Pulse, Muddy Water, Sparkling Aria, and Core Enforcer. We have Nick with Photon Geyser, Moon Geyser Beam, Earth Power, Amnesia. We got Feta with Photon Geyser, Discharge, Waterfall, Moon Blast. Sophie with Brutal Swing, Topsy Turvy, which saved us in the last episode, Dragon Claw, and Darkest Larian. And lastly, we have Atlas with Fusion Flare, Sunny Day, Mystical Fire, Hurricane, Turbo Blaze, Modest Nature. This thing is a beast. A beast, I tell ya. So... Don't underestimate the power of the beast. Um, anyway, that was a really weird <laughs> segue. But we're going to go ahead and go fight Hapu. Hapu shouldn't be that hard. As you guys noticed, we did lose um, Aaron, the Mega Mewtwo, which is a little bit upsetting. More than a little bit upsetting. That's very underplayed. Um, I feel like I definitely shouldn't have lost it, but it was the most insane scenario. So if you want to check it out, please do. Um, today's episode is going to be a lot shorter than last episode, though. I'm I'm gunning for, like, a less than 20-minute episode. That's what I'm gunning for. I don't think that'll happen. we got to be fair, truthful, honest. Um, I don't foresee that happening. Um, but I'm going to try my best. Because uh, if we can get this to, like, an 18-minute episode finale, then I think that's going to be, like, the ideal length. But I still have Victory Road to get through. Even though Victory Road is not that hard, it isn't as bad as it was previously. Um, previously, there was absolutely nothing in Victory Road. Um, but yeah, no. hopefully everything kind of turns out okay. Hopefully everything turns out okay for you. If you're going to be at the live finale type, hashtag live finale hype. Um, and make sure you let everybody know what time it is. I already said it, 5 o'clock on Friday. Because thank God it's Friday. Um... And I, yeah, like I said, I can't believe it's happening. Um, and I can't believe we're here. Like, honestly, it's a little bit of an insane situation. Oh! <laughs> Speaking of insanity! <laughs> I mean, luckily we led with Joey, but <laughs> slacking. Turn one. Good job. That's the greatest start for Hapu just casually has a freaking slacking um, with hammer arm. That's phenomenal. We're not normal. Well, we are. Oh my god, we are normal. Okay. And okay, it's minus one speed. I'm gonna heal first though. Hapu, we have. Oh, oh nope, not that potion. Not that potion. Oh my god, I need to get rid of those. Those will be almost gone anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But. Whew. Like I said, I don't think we're fast. I don't think we're faster. I went for Earthquake, which means that we might be faster. Uh, that's not leaving too much room. Quick little pump again! Let's go! We don't have to worry. I don't know if we're faster, but that, that quick claw popping in twice is just god tier. It is really god tier that that happened. Um, not even gonna lie, I didn't was never have expected that to be the case, and so the fact that it was the case is mucho boni or muy bonito. I think it's very beautiful. Uh, okay, we're gonna go to Atlas though. New Pokemon Turbo Blaze boosts the power of fire type moves. So we already have like the OP. This is like hopefully as OP as I thought it was. Um, I thought it was a super OP Pokemon. So we'll kind of see. Oh my god, this is the ace. Okay. But we'll kind of see how OP this is. It's not going to have Sturdy. I think Fusion Flare is going to go ahead and knock this thing out. Um, it should, especially with a modest nature. Really? 
I'm floored with these, like, the very small amount of damage that that did. Um, I would have anticipated a much bigger return from that. I mean, I guess we're not that far in level, though. It's like a six-level gap, so. But, yeah, jeez. A Haxorus. Urgh. I mean, we're fine. We have Fido. We have got an answer for this. It's just not the most comfortable of answers, but we can take it down. But, yeah, no, I can't believe this is the finale. Uh, basically, this is basically the finale. Like, the final recorded series. As you guys know, I love doing live finales because I love hanging out with you guys in our final episodes of stuff. And, yeah, like I said, it doesn't feel real. It feels very... It feels crazy. I mean, this is episode 39, right? So... It definitely is a weird sensation knowing that this is the end. Like, my accent. It's not comprehensive. Uh, it's incomprehensible and very. It's, it's like weird. That's the best way I can explain it. That's probably a mega. Yup, called it, knew it. Uh, I figured because Hapu likes to be a pain in the butt. Um. But yeah, but with the fact that that is the case and that this is the final episode, I want to end it off with a hurrah. Like, and I wanted to say thank you for everybody who's been out here supporting this series every single day, making the series continually more enjoyable. I hope you guys enjoy the next series, which is Sog Lock. Um, it's going to be a super long series um, where you, the audience, can take control of what, basically any decision that is made, you get to take control of. So like... Whether what fossil we get, what's our starter, what's our this, what's our that? Do we do this? Do we do that? Like, and any split offs that happen, like any any form of split offs, you guys get to take control of. So I really hope you guys enjoy the series. I think I know I will enjoy the series um, and recording it because again, we're starting in Kanto. I think starting in Kanto is gonna be really nice uh, and a really touch addition. Um, but yeah, man, ooh, ooh. Um, and like I said, with us with us starting in Kanto, there is gonna be a lot of challenges. Obviously, as any thing, any game, any game is gonna have a challenge, and you want to be able to kind of affirm the challenge and make sure you get the challenge to be successful. Um, let's go, quick little pop. Our quick little pop three times in this battle. That's kind of a lot. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure that everything goes, like, spotlessly. And it is hard. It's hard to determine whether or not something is going spotlessly, how everything's working out, what happens, and what situation. And, um, it is definitely difficult, and I'm not going to lie. Like, it's not an easy feat. Um, as a Poketuber, well, that, or as I should say, it, I'm, a, I'm doing a, I'm, I call myself a Poketuber, but as an expire, as, as aspiring full-time YouTuber, there we go. Um... I, oh, grass life, natural life. Um, I want to make sure that I am catering to my audience, which is you guys, because you guys make the foundation. Um, I think that the shorter form content is going to be a lot better, but it will be a little bit weird for me to record. Um, I think that when it comes to giving you guys the options to do things, that'll be more natural to me because I love appeasing to the audience, making people happy. I know that in making people happy, I will make people upset in the process, which is going to be a little bit rough for me because I don't like making anybody upset. I hate being confrontational. Um, but it happens, you know? I can't control everybody and can't make everybody vote for the same thing. Obviously, that's never going to happen. When I mean, I feel like I know some of the majoritarian things, like, or majorial, not majoritarian, what a word, but like the majorial things like the Helix Fossil over the Dome Fossil, that's pretty common, but obviously I'm still going to leave that as a choice for you because it's a fossil choice. Um, starter, don't know because it's randomized, um, but I do think that with all of the majorial choices, um, and like knowing that, it's gonna be fun. We also are gonna have random comment question of the days, like just popping up out of nowhere. So you have to watch and pay attention in order to know what the comment question of the day is. Again, 
a thing that I haven't seen Poketubers do that I want to be innovative with. I think that the idea of a, just a random comment question of the day, like popping up for two seconds, anywhere on the screen, and it could be completely unrelated to what I'm saying, will be cool. It will be something new. It'll be a refresher. I like it. And I hope you all like it as well. Um, only because, like I said, I want to make this amazing series for y'all. And if y'all aren't liking it, I'd rather you tell me before I start an eight-month-long project. <laughs> like, and I'm not joking when I say that, because, it, because it's a short-form content series, it will be shorter. Like, for example, this project was a three-month project. That's why I feel sad seeing it go. It's 40 episodes. It's a 10-week project. Then you stick a month lock in the middle, but that's three weeks. And so 13-week project. Like, it's sad seeing these massive, big, amazing playthroughs go away. And as, as much as they're not going away, it is kind of like a... I don't know how to explain it. It's like... It's like seeing your kids grow up. <laughs> this is such a terrible analogy. Uh, but, like, especially because I don't know what that's like. But I'm assuming that it's pretty difficult. Like, and it's hard when your kids... Because I know that when I see my cousins, like, growing up, it's like, where's the time gone? Like, how is this all... A thing and I look at my channel and I'm like I've been doing this for seven and a half years where has the time gone like that's a long time it's a lot of investment and a lot of work but the positivity is that I'm proud of my work and 2020 has been a year where I've I've been really feeling a lot more dignified in my work I guess is a good word oh good way like, I feel like things are going right. Which is something that I struggle with a lot. Oh, also, you can get an encounter. Encounter doesn't matter. Let's fight. Let's fight, Gladion. Last fight of the episode. Actually, it's not. We have one more fight after Gladion. But still, this is a much shorter episode than the last two. Which is nice. Because, you know, after two almost hour long episodes, it's like, come on, dog. Like, can we get any shorter? Um... But yeah, like. So, ooh, a start. Let's go. What a final battle. So, Galeo, I will take that. I will 100% take that. We want final battles like this. Like, this is what we want to see. Um, speaking of, we can Dark Slaying you and we'll be fine. Although, psychic moves are going to hurt. So, I should probably have paid attention. Ooh, acrobatics. Wait, you have a move. You have, you have an item. You definitely have an item. 100%. Ooh, that's half. I don't like that. Although that was new. I thought that was super effective. I thought that would have been super effective. It wasn't. That was not what I was... Does it say super effective? It totally does. Okay, I was like, am I just dumb? Am I just not seeing it? Yeah, I just wasn't reading it. Um, Then again, am I surprised? No. Carnivine. Good, 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 good. We have Atlas. Atlas just... Having a fire type for those grass types and the fairy types, too, is going to be such... Atlas is such a beneficial addition. It gives us options. It gives us what we needed to survive. Some of the, our biggest issues kind of get eradicated by the fact that we added the coverage. Surprise! We added coverage, therefore, we're doing better! Woo! <laughs> Sorry. I like making fun of the things that I say. Because <laughs> sometimes you're just like... Wow, it's almost like when you add better coverage, your team does better. What? I didn't know that. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Uh, that's something, if you guys are new to the channel, you got to know that about me. I uh, Self-deprecating humor, it's going to happen. <laughs> I make fun, especially when I'm doing this alone, you are going to see that. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> As my, I'm terrible at it. Like, and what I mean by that is I'm terrible at the successive amount that I do it. Because that's kind of what I find funny. 
I know that's bad. I know that sounds super terrible that making fun of myself is funny to me. But when I say something out of the blue that's super dumb, of course I'm going to make fun of it. Like... <laughs> Or something super obvious. I'm like, wow, I didn't know that. I completely didn't know that grass was weak to fire. Like, oh my god. Like, yeah. So stuff like that. Definitely, if you're new to the channel, be prepared for it. But we have fun, and that's what matters, right? We have fun doing what we do and hanging out, having a having a blast and stuff like that. So just yeah, like I said, don't worry if you hear self-deprecated humor. It's just me, how I act, what I do. Um, and you, you can see it when I'm in collaborative projects, too. Like, I don't do it only when I'm alone. I just, I mess with them. Like, a lot of people know that. I'm just very self-deprecating. And I know that's not the best thing in the world to be. And I definitely would recommend not. It's just been my mood set, or my mood in the way that I have been for many, many, many years. So, it's kind of hard to get out of the rut if you uh, have been in it for years and years and years. Um, and really, I wouldn't even call it a rut because I don't, I don't feel bad about myself. I don't think I'm a terrible person. It's just kind of, like I said, my kind of humor. I like just messing around and being sarcastic. Like, I literally did it the other day with Ryan. Um, Ryan in an episode was like talking about keeping up with the Kardashians and how, like, they keep up with the Kardashians, blah, 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 blah. And he went on a tangent about that. And I was like, oh, What? Keeping up, if people who watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians keep up with the Kardashians, what? And again, it's not me being an ass. It's not me being mean. It's just me making fun of the situation in a fun limelight. Because obviously, the point of what he was saying was that, like that, he literally he got his point across as a good YouTuber would, but. We can all play around and stab with each other a little bit, like... And, of course, if you get too far, you get told you went too far. Like, and then you don't do that anymore. Like, but a, a real friendship, for me, is somebody who's really willing to, like, prick. If you're willing to prick the, prick the needle... Like, let's just say this, that, that, I actually like that analogy. For once I come up with a good analogy, great. Okay, so yeah, you're pricking the needle. So like, you're drawing just a little, a teeny bit of blood, but not enough to hurt somebody. Not enough to s stab the knife through somebody's body. Like, there's a difference um, between those two actions. And I don't like the amount of damage that two cannon did. Um, but yeah, so those are two completely different circumstances. And with that being said, it does change things. Um, geez, 120 base power stab. Don't really appreciate that damage. Um, luckily, we have ice body, though, so I will take that. Now I know I'll live a hit, so now I'm fine with discharging, knowing that I live this hit. Okay, we did not live that as comfortably as I thought we would, but we crit the two cannon, which actually mattered. But... Besides the point, yeah, like, pricking somebody is different from stabbing somebody. And pricking somebody's not really a problem unless it's war if it's warranted and you guys are all joking around and having a good time with each other. Stabbing somebody, though, different story, and that's not okay. Um, but <laughs> what, I've been on, like, five weird tangents in today's episode. But, honestly, when you're doing a solo commentary, you kind of need those. Um, and those things do end up mattering in the long run. So, I'm not surprised. I'll just say that. I'm not surprised that I'm going on 8 billion different tangents. But, who is ready for the Genlock Marathon? Are you guys ready for the Genlock Marathon? Because y'all boy is. Wednesday, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Genlock Marathon. Be there. Hang out. Catch up on some of those episodes that you missed. Hang out with the fam. Chill and have a wonderful time. I'll be chilling in there ever so often just because I want to hang out with you guys and make an opportunity of it. Because again, something that Poketubers haven't done. Obviously I can't hang out the whole time. I have work, I have other obligations. But when I can, I'm gonna chill in there, obviously. I'm not gonna be like, okay, 
here's this. Let's pad my watch time. Like, that's not the goal, obviously. The goal is just to hang out, have fun, and just chill. Um, and I think that's amazing that we have that kind of a common goal. Oh, there's actually required trainers. Yay. I forgot. Oh, Basculin's our encounter. I don't care about Basculin. Um, I really don't care about a level 40. Yeah, not even 50. And Nick is not going to die. We're, we're basically... We're trying to prevent that from happening. But yeah, I want to avoid as many trainers as possible if I can. That would be the kind of positive remark um, that I have. Ludicolo, no! Don't show that to me. I don't want to be shown that at all. Boys and girls, don't show me that. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have to download. Um... I'm like trying to remember your moves. I don't remember you having too much grass stab. I remember you having more water stab. Ooh, dynamic punch. That would have hurt. That actually really would have hurt. But I was faster, surprisingly. Quick claw doesn't matter, but I, I was faster, so that's really funny. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get on par with everybody, which is nice. It's nice to see that we're gonna be on par. Um, not be too far up in levels. Champion is gonna be literally near our level. Uh, everybody at the end, at the end of this episode, everybody just level 69. <laughs> Why wouldn't I end a freaking series at level 69? Like, let's be. <laughs> uh, literally, we're gonna end our episode at that level. That's funny. Oh no! Mega Mewtwo got us to say, I'm like, yes, we can execute our strategy now. It's like, no, you can't. Mega Mewtwo was your strategy with a flying type, which you didn't have at the time. Now you lost the Mega Mewtwo, but added the flying type. <laughs> like, it's the complete 180 of what you wanted before. Um, hmm. Ah, do I have a repel? I probably didn't buy any, which is kind of a rough scenario like I'm not even gonna lie I definitely should have bought a repel but I definitely didn't buy repels and I definitely needed them but we're just gonna go through without them I guess oh, I'm trying to think of like I can just avoid a lot of these trainers that's the goal avoid as many trainers as possible and only fight that and the other dude up top because I think there's only two official required trainers if I'm not mistaken. Because if there's only two, then we can definitely avoid them. Ugh. Dude, the eight billion counters, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I definitely need to see if I have a repel. Well, like I said, I don't think I do. Look at them perky butts. Um, yeah, I highly doubt that I do, which is uh, unfortunate. Dude, I'm gonna freaking freak. I'm a geek out. I'm like, let me just cut this entire episode up for sure. It's a 23 minute episode. Honestly, I'm debating. But I can't do that because if I do that, then it's like, oh, what about the continuity of the series? It's like, well, it does. It basically goes away. Yeah, but I don't know if I have a. I do not. Oof. I really don't. Okay. Okay, so with the... Actually, she's gonna walk around. Wait. Oh, crap. I'm, like, trying to avoid, but not avoid. Uh, but, yeah, no. Honestly, though, crazy the fact that this is ending the way it is. Like... Really? I can't get away from this one? Why? Joey, you've literally been able to get away from, like, all of them. Yeah, because you're going to go... Oh, sh Okay, I can actually climb behind you. Okay, awesome. We got behind that, and then with the 30 billion encounters we're going to run into, this will be the same way. Because I didn't use a repel. Um, and don't have one. And before you ask if I have a Pokemon with Illuminate in the front of the party, the answer to that is... uh. 
hard no. Um, because Illuminate would just make this so much worse. Oh, that would have been a cool shiny. Um, because I love Stantler, actually. Um, and Winter Form of Stant or Saucebug. That's not Stantler. <laughs> I knew that. I definitely didn't call this thing Stantler because it looks similar to an... Oh my gosh, let me get away from things! Oh. Come on, do I really have to put something other than Joey in the front of the party? This is ridiculous. Like, what can I put? I guess I put my fastest Pokemon in the front of the party. Duh, what, what can I put in the front of the party? Oh, uh, your fastest Pokemon? Um, duh. Wait, is it? Did it set up the snow? Oh, I can't run, can I? This thing literally just prevented me from running. Yup. Gosh. This thing was off point. But. Yeah, I know. Basically, though, I do need to uh, switch into a faster Pokemon, I guess. If Sodsbuck's a common encounter. Atlas level 69. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Honestly, think Atlas is my fastest mod. Like, if I'm gonna be 100% genuine and honest, nice. Okay, we got past that. We're almost there. We're actually way further. Sorry for not being as talkative. It's just running into encounters is so boring. Like, this is why caves get such a bad rap is their high encounter rate like at every game it's literally never been never been alleviated that issue just continues to persist and they really need to keep their encounter rates i would actually lower them uh well, duh. if the code rates are too high you should lower them yeah duh john good job congrats uh, um, but yeah, no, I would lower them like half of what they are now because what they are now is just like every 10 seconds. And that's why you buy repels for these sections. But when you are like me and don't really buy repels because they're a waste of your money, quote, quote, like. Obviously, it's going to be a different stance. Oh, my God. Um, and because, like I said, because of that, it does create a little bit of a harder time to... Unless I'm live. Because if I'm live, it's different. I can chat about it and not worry as much about the encounter rates. Because I have people... Oh, my God. I am 20 levels ahead of this thing. How can I not run away? I am 20 levels ahead. Run away. Oh my god. I this should not not this should not be happening in Pokemon. I should not take three attempts to run away from something that's 20 levels ahead of me. Like that should never be the case. Like that's something I never should have to worry about. And the fact that I have to worry about stuff that's 20 levels ahead on a decent speed tier Pokemon is like, on Joey, I understand, because his speed tier is so bad. But not on Atlas, who's got a good speed tier. Uh. <sighs> I almost ran into that double bottle. I was going to be like, dang it. But I didn't, luckily. Sorry, Necrozma. I'm not catching you, because I don't have a Master Ball to do so. As much as the cross was a good Pokemon. So yeah, I've got this in the double battle. That's it. Wow, this episode is up. Basically over. Um, like I said, this was definitely going to be a shorter episode. I was wanting it to be shorter than this. 
Um, and it really, it would have been. It would have been 10 minutes shorter than it is now. Like, I would have been pretty much on point with that 22-minute evaluation. Um, and eight minutes of just encounter, 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 encounter. I would say that does add up to at least four minutes, if not more. Um, but yeah, we got two, two people left. Two battles left. So I know we can handle it. It's just like, oh my god. Um... For real, though, it's just like a uh, situation. But yeah, Fusion Flare, level 59. Again, this should do at least 80%. Okay, 75. That's fine. Oh, no. Oh, that's a roll. I am taking that roll, though, because it looks like it's probably going to be a favorable roll. Um... It does. It looks favorable. And we don't get the favorable side of that roll. Congratulations. We managed to fail. Like, I really need to sign up if I'm using Atlas. Jeez. I would have thought Atlas would have been better. Turbo Blaze Sunny Day. Like, I would have definitely thought that we were in much better territory than we really are. Um, let's go ahead. It's Tapu Lele. Moon Guy's Beam should do fine. And that'll bring Nick to level 69. Hopefully nobody re raises to level 70. That's the goal. Nobody hit level 70, please. Let's have a full level 69 team going into the Elite Four. Oh, no. Okay. I am slower. Although this is super effective, it's not a physical attacking Mon. Yeah, okay. Good, as anticipated. We should do over half, though. We should do like 55%. Oh, wow, way more than that. Okay, good. Being a slower Mon, I'm just gonna amnesia. Dang it, I had the opportunity. Um, why did roleplay fail, though? Roleplay, I don't know why it would have failed. I also don't know why it's not going for Phantom Force anymore. I was kind of expecting double Phantom Force. Maybe because it just didn't do much, enough damage and the computer was like, oh. Like, it didn't read the roll before doing it. I can see that. Excuse me, sorry. Um, that's definitely a plausibility. Just would not have imagined it. Okay, so. With the final battle of this episode. I do like Atlas and Cassandra being the combination that I use. Um, a lot of people are going to be like, why didn't you get the Ultra Necrozma? And I'm just like, I don't really want it. I didn't want to spend the time. Like, that's the actual... I, like, I, I'm going to give you the straight up honest reason. I, didn't, I want this series... As much as I'm like sad to see the series go, it's, this is the final episode. I want to make it as exciting as possible. And, oh no, catching a legendary... Like, everybody does that. Like, what if we go... I'm like, we have our team set. It's not like I'm going to be like, okay, team's not set. Let's catch this and just in case. It's like, no. Like, there's no point. There's absolutely no point. Because there is team synergy, and the team is basically set. The only way is if I get the freaking huge power slacking, <laughs> which I highly doubt will happen twice in a row. Um, let's go ahead and find out what our final battle before the Elite Four is. It's Darkrai and Samurai. Great. Um, that's actually a very good pair. Uh, I don't like that as the pair. The Samurai's a bit of a threat. So I'm going to take that and bring Joey in. And then we're going to go ahead and kind of try and get the Dark Rai off the field. Or do we get the Samurai off the field? Because... I don't feel like Darkrai is as big of a threat. But I feel like I can also kill it easier. I'm going to go ahead and attack the Samurai. I don't... Because the Samurai being on the field is a bigger threat generally. Oh, no. Oh, no.
the one move in the entirety of the move list that could kill Cassandra. The only one in the move list that could have done that. That pisses me off. Are you kidding me right now? The only move in the move list that would have killed Cassandra was that. Like, like, what do I do? The, literally the only move, when the only, you have Blizzard too. Oh, watch, it's gonna get a freeze. I can already see it. The only move in the move list. Well, remember when I said that I might not need to get it? Well, maybe I need to get it, but I don't think so. Um, so Gen, we have Gen 2 open. And... With Gen 2 open, we can... That's a Stantler. What can we do with that open? What does that give us access to that we didn't already have access to? Let's see. So, wait, that le- Because... I don't know what gen we're not using right now. Uh, it's Sinnoh. It's Gen 4. Okay, so we got Generations 2 and 4 open. So Generation 2 and 4. That's not very good. Hmm. Nice, quick claw pop in. We know you don't have sturdy, so that should kill. <laughs> so, I don't know. Like, I genuinely have no idea what to utilize. We don't have much in the generation two to four categories. Or nothing really good anyway. Cassandra was literally the mon in that category. That's the clan, huh? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I genuinely don't. Um. Because if I. Let's say... I don't know. I can't even give you a determining factor. Like, what does that give us weakness-wise? Like... I guess it took away fairy, like a bigger chunk of the fairy issues, but still, I don't know. This still turned out to be a 40 minute episode. Um, but yeah, like nothing really that we can do here. Um, so, hmm. Naturally, I can't get out of the cave not like on its own. Let's run into a stupid Togepi. Uh, We'll find out on screen what we're going to get, and then... Yeah, that's the Yikers. Like, I hate to say it, but that is a massive... Throws a massive wrench. Our finale is still going to be the same day, but it's still a massive wrench in, well, my confidence level. Because freeze-dry of all things, like... Like, why? Hmm. So, like I said, Gen 2 and 4 is what we have on our set list. So, that's not even 4.
Crobat's Gen 2. But it's not a good Pokemon as far as move let moveset goes. So we've got, like I said, not a hot set list of options. We got Dunsparce, Macargo. That's going to be Gen 1, so that, that won't work. Smeargle and Hoot Hoot. And Crobat. And in Generation 4, we have this Pokemon that I'm not even sure is legal. Um, so I don't want to use it. I still never checked. And we got Frosty. I hate to do it, <laughs> but I think that was our best bet <laughs> because <laughs> cool. Dunsparce is bad, right? Dunsparce is bad. Savage is terrible for what we're going for. Kalipa is Gen 1, unless we want to keep it Clefairy. Liam is pure normal and a terrible Pokemon. This thing won't get any moves. <laughs> we have horrible options. Terrible bad options. And I think Hoot Hoot is the best option we got. <laughs> With that, it's gonna be added to the team. Not even for the lols either. <laughs> it's an official team member. <laughs> and in the last. <laughs> can't even um anyway <laughs> thank you everybody so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day don't forget if you want to watch the balloon in action in the finale go ahead and watch it at five o'clock i can't hold my composure any longer i hope you all have a fantastic day <laughs> bye